YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bypass FRP on Note 9. So, to do this, we're going to have to flash it with combination and then uh, flash it with the original firmware from Samsung. Uh, first of all, we need to put the phone into download mode and to do this we hold Pixby and volume down for a few seconds then we insert the USB-C cable then volume up it's gonna put it into a download mode and then all you do is switch on to your computer and you should have Odin if you don't have it you could search it up and download it easily so what you do is get a um, combination file load it up I've already loaded it up and um, that is all already here so what we're going to do is just start the process. I'm going to leave you a link in the description below for the combination to download and give you a link for downloading Odin as well. So don't worry if you don't have it. So after it started up, you just go to settings, go down to the bottom on system, about reset options, then erase all data, reset and erase everything. This is necessary, this will get rid of the FRP in this status. So what we're gonna do next is flash it with a full firmware. Okay, now we just switch off. Again, we put it into download mode to do this whole Pixby volume down for a few seconds. Then connect a USB type cable. Okay, volume up. So you just basically download the files and extract them like BL to BL, AP to AP, uh, CP, you choose CP and for the last part CSC you can't use, you can't choose this, you can't choose that so it's a combination between these two files which I have created here I'm gonna send you a link to do that to download this file so it's all Let's go ahead and see if our work is success. fully working not nine now but to complete this make sure um, the software is proper because now we have made an amendment to the software which will not be recognized as official so what we're gonna do is gonna go have to go back to the setting 
uh, general management reset one more time factory data reset so what we do is delete everything it's going to install the factory official firmware to it it's already have it so it's going to install this one back to it so delete everything uh, after this format it's going to come up and there would be no f uh, frp log and the software is going to be official and legit um, and you can enjoy your phone it's more okay thank you for watching hope to see you next time